Hi everybody, I'm Jack. This is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, I'm making this on January 2nd. Um, it's been fun, but I'm kind of glad all this holiday stuff is over. Uh, Monday, January 2nd, I'm heading back to Costa Rica on Friday and I am ready to get back to some fruit and some sugar. Um, one thing I want to mention real quick, I had a video I released about four or five, maybe six days ago, depending on where I decided to drop this one, that I kind of released it funny. I, re I, w I was just uploading it, didn't mean for it to go public, and I guess I let it stay public too long, and then I switched it back to being unlisted. So then when I re-released it, it didn't hardly get any views. So I'm going to pop it back up here. It's a pretty decent little transition video, so and I just didn't want it to fall by the wayside. So there'll be a link on that um, up here somewhere within this video. Um, and also, too, the subs are start. The sub problem is kind of starting to ease up a little bit, and I don't know if it's the algorithm YouTube thingy or it's been the fact of uh, people actually going that extra mile. I've mentioned like, if you pl would please and come back and watch videos, hit that subscribe button and just hit that little bell right next to it and check send notifications, and it should keep people subscribed. Um, anyhow. Let's talk about patience on this lifestyle today. Um, I've already, you know, I see these things all the time. I see a, a question like this, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you sort of an example. This isn't an exact one, but tell me what's wrong with this. Oh my God, oh my God, I've been doing raw vegan for 10 days, and I'm having this problem, and I'm freaking out. What, should, what do I do? What do I change? And we don't even need to really hear too much after 10 days. You know, it's like... Um, and sometimes I think it's the fault of some of these uh, raw vegans out there that just tend to, let's kindly put it, exaggerate a little bit. I mean, you, I'm sure you've been in some of those groups that are like, oh, it'll, it'll take all the gray away. Your eyes completely heal. Oh, your teeth will grow back. Cut a hand off. It'll grow. Okay, we're talking food, healing, detoxing the body, getting healthy. We ain't talking no voodoo here. But I think sometimes that um, that people new to this lifestyle, like, well, and you never know where they're going. They're to when you're totally new, you're stepping into a group here, you're watching a video here, you see some outlandish stuff, you see a ton of outlandish stuff, you see a ton of reasonable stuff. And in the beginning, it's hard to sift through it all and know what to listen to. But I think a lot of these uh, fanciful um, things are just raising people's expectations. And a large part of it is the society we live in these days. This is an immediate society with the internet and everything. Um, the older people will be able to relate with this because we've had our feet kind of in both worlds. But now with the internet and with the way technology is and whatever, people are just used to now, 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 instant gratification and getting things immediately. Well. Sorry, as healthy as this lifestyle is and as beneficial as this lifestyle is, it's not going to solve all your problems just like that immediately. Now, what I will tell you is um, you are probably going to see some major results fairly quickly. You're probably going to feel some results fairly quickly. And a lot of the time, I think it's just that people are focused it are focusing on the things that we've always thought about, like the obvious, like, I'm not losing the weight. I think there's a lot of people and I've actually questioned people before that are, um, that'll say, well, I'm just not losing any weight on this lifestyle. And they seem to be kind of hang dog and like, you know, they're questioning whether this is for them or not. And I'm like, how do you feel? Have you been, have you been feeling bad uh, since you've been doing this lifestyle? Oh no, I've got more energy than I've ever had. I'm just haven't lost the weight yet. How much weight have you lost? You know, and they'll throw some number out there that's actually fairly respectable. It's just not a huge number. You know, you see all this garbage on, in advertisements and on TV, like shows like The Biggest Loser, where people are trying to see the, their number every week. Like, oh, I dropped 14 pounds. And people want this. They want to see big. They want to see dramatic. They want to see exciting. And a lot of times, if you just question them and say, you know, and maybe just point out like, well, you're not doing all that bad. Right there, you just said the most important thing. You feel better than you've ever felt in your life. You have more energy. Even if you haven't lost one pound, you're on the way. That weight thing's going to, um, you know, it'll, it'll work itself out. Uh, but just have to get over this instant gratification. And that is defeating so many people because what they're doing is, is like they're constantly chasing their tail. They're never sticking with anything long enough to give it a realistic shot of working for them. Um, and then they're, you know, they, they get onto this particular way of doing a plant-based lifestyle. 
Um, and then, you know, they give it three or four weeks or just whatever, not, not an adequate amount of time to really learn how to like, learn how to do the lifestyle. You don't just immediately learn how to do the lifestyle. There's figure it, there's things to figure it out that you have to learn how much you need to eat and what have you. And when you're jumping from one way to another, to another, to another, you're not, you have no fair way of, um, evaluating each step along the way to know if it's really working because you're just not giving it enough time. Um, you know, we, it, it's like the whole world is in a rush for everything. Um, and we talk about this over and over. You don't listen, you didn't get it. No matter what it is, no matter what your reasons are for coming to this lifestyle. Um, you, if you have health issues, if you have a lot of weight to lose, if you just feel crappy or whatever, Whatever your issue might be, it probably it didn't happen. It it wasn't like you were okay. It wasn't like you were at this high level like two months ago, and then you just did something for two months that threw you off. For most of us, like me, who came to this lifestyle at the age of uh, like forty seven or forty eight, I can't remember. Um, you know, I'd been doing a lot of bad things for a lot of years. I had been drinking for thirty plus years. I had been eating animal products uh, my whole life. You know, I ate a lot of greasy fried stuff. I ate processed meats. I ate a lot of stuff and I've eaten a lot of stuff and that was a base of my diet for a very long time. So for having done abuse to my body for 30, 40 something, okay, maybe the booze not, but the food 40 something years, I just knew going in that I could not expect to reverse and change myself overnight. So I just kind of locked, I just kind of settled in for the ride. That's the best way to put it. I settled in for the ride with no expectations. And I'm, and I mean, I know as I'm saying that a lot of that is due to age. I, I'm very introspective about um, my process and how I do things and uh, almost to the point of being too analytical. And I know that my kind of laid back a uh, reasonable approach now is in direct contradiction to who I was when I was younger. Now, I don't want to just paint it like, you know, say it's all age. There's different personalities. I've met lots of, but that was just my, my particular experience as pr the age goes on. Um, there's a lot of young people that have got it. There's a lot of old souls out there, but most of us, it just takes a little time to kind of gain that wisdom. So on this last time, when I, did, you know, when I started to take um, hold of my health, take control of my health, I just eased into it with no expectations. And that's the one thing that I wish I could transmit to people that are always asking me questions. That's the one thing I wish I could make people understand that I could give to people is just to, if you will just um, sit back, do the process, and just forget about the results, the results will come. But this always, the focusing on the results, the obsessive focusing on the results, it's counterproductive. It's just keeping people from getting there. And then they jump and jump and jump and jump. And then they're just constantly there. It's the same story over and over. And then they're going to re rededicate themselves and start over. And it's just a vicious circle. So, you know, be a little bit more introspective, like I'm talking about. Give it a little bit more time. Be a little patient. When, if, you know, if you're doing this raw vegan lifestyle, dig in there, read, study. When things aren't working for you, instead of wanting to ditch the whole program, figure out where the holes are. Be, you know, um, be objective and like, um, and figure out, okay, well, this is it. Maybe I need to add this. It's been a process for me. You know, I used to eat just tons of fruit and I wasn't doing much on the greens and I felt it. I felt kind of quirky and then you add that in and then you get the get your fat down at a level that works for you and you know piece by piece but you got to give it a little bit of time because like i say i mean as much as much as i believe in this lifestyle and as healthy as it is there's yeah it's not it's not magic and it's not going to transform you overnight so just uh you know have a little patience and your body will thank you for it anyhow hope you guys enjoyed this video um and i hope you're having a wonderful week Love you guys. Peace.